guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to my channel if you're new but before we get into anything this video is sponsored by Sephora collection today I'm going to show you guys how to get perfect skin for back to school as you can see I'm wearing very minimal makeup I have lip gloss have the brows the I don't even have a mascara but um my skin is looking a lot better than usual and I thought I'd share with you guys tips and tricks that I've used the past month and a half um during this summer that you can use as well to prepare yourself for back to school i have a couple of announcements to share with you guys about sephora collection so let's get right into that so the first thing i want to talk to you guys about is the holy sheet mask challenge sephora collection has loads of face masks and really nice skincare products but recently sephora collection came out with the new super masks there's four types there's the charcoal the bubble mask the primer mask and the mud mask so what you have to do to join this challenge is to get your favorite mask um, out of those four go out in public and share your own photo of you wearing your face mask proudly most iconic and funniest pictures will be posted by Sephora collection I really really want you guys to participate I participated so I'm gonna insert a clip of me right now doing this challenge Game time. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the eighth wonder of the world. The flow of the century. Oh, it's timeless. Ho! Thanks for coming out tonight. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. so much fun filming this it was really weird <laughs> Just tag me and tag score collection and don't forget to hashtag holy sheet mask and tag your friends to do the challenge as well if you really want to get posted on Sephora collections Instagram then make sure the picture is really clear and presentable so be sure to get really creative and share your pics online let's get right into the tips and tricks that I have for you and what I've used to get my skin to where it is now so if you have watched any of my my older videos from like I'm gonna say last December I've been struggling with acne um, I don't know where it came from I think it might have been stress acne so yeah it's it's been a while since I really had that super clear face but my skin has been through a lot and I'm not a perfect human I know a lot of you think I might be perfect but yeah I struggle with not having clear skin all the time as well don't feel alone like you're the only person that gets pimples because we all get pimples we're human beings and it's normal i'm not saying these tips are going to clear your skin and that you'll never have to deal with acne ever again because that's not true this is just to help you get your skin ready for back to school so the first tip that i have for you guys is to sanitize your cellular device okay sanitize your phone because when you're putting your phone to your face you might not even realize you're doing it but when you put your phone to your face you're literally putting all the germs that where your phone has been on your face if you ever get pimples on the side of your face like I do sometimes let's be real um, those are probably coming from your dirty phone be careful about that that's a really big thing that a lot of people do that they don't realize they're doing but it's kind of gross tip number two two <laughs> wash your pillowcases often this is so important okay a lot of you may not realize your pillowcases literally have so many germs on them it can create acne in your sleep while you're just being all comfortable sleeping and whatnot you're probably getting a bunch of germs on your face because you haven't washed your pillowcase in like a month I advise you guys to wash your pillowcases once a week I wash my pillowcases at least once a week number three now I'm not gonna say that drinking water is gonna clear your skin 
because if you already do that then you know that that's not your problem but if it is your problem and you're not drinking enough water drinking more water can save your skin that's like one of your number one sources of energy drinking natural delicious water like alkaline water is really really good for you i don't really advise you to drink certain water like there's a lot of water that has stuff in it that you may not want to be putting in your body and what you put in your body reflects on your physical okay and that brings me to the next tip tip number four your diet <laughs> what you're putting in your body reflects on your physical like i just said certain foods that you eat like junk food literally will seep through your pores you don't want that your diet can change how you smell when you sweat it can change the color of your urine it can change all different types of things that you don't want but yeah diet can change so many things and that's why you should watch what you eat you don't have to be vegan vegetarian to eat healthy just eating a balanced diet can really save your skin if that's what you're struggling with. So try to develop good eating habits and you should see a difference in your skin. Number five, stress. Stress, stress, stress. De-stressing can literally help your skin so much. Ignore my disgusting nails, okay? But when you're feeling great, just living your best life, and you're not stressed out about a bunch of stuff, then you're probably gonna be feeling a lot better about yourself and your skin is going to reflect that as well. Stress acne is so normal. So many people get stress acne. It's really hard to get rid of it. That's why you should try to prevent it. A couple ways to prevent it is to either meditate, do yoga, or even just exercise consistently and have a schedule. Just being organized and having your life together can literally change your skin so much. Like I noticed when I used to be in school before I started homeschool, I used to have pimples. I used to have a lot of them too. And it was always like really big pimples on my forehead, on my chin, on my face on my nose that was stress acne and I didn't realize that school was stressing me out so bad and I had to leave so yeah literally a month after I stopped going to regular school I noticed that my skin changed a lot tip number six wash your face wash your face twice a day this shouldn't even be in these tips but a lot of people don't wash their face every day and I don't really understand that but you can prevent so much acne just by keeping your face clean and you'll see a huge difference just like that but that's just common sense to wash your face every day it doesn't even have to be twice a day as long as you're washing your face at some point and then like at least rinsing your face off in the shower so just find a schedule for yourself of how you're going to take care of your skin and that should help number seven keep your hair from out of your face See, okay, if you have bangs and you get pimples on your forehead, that's probably the reason why, and it has to do with the oils that come out of your hair that don't really belong on your face. That's why having bangs can be tough because you're kind of asking for pimples on your forehead. Unless you're keeping your hair like really, really clean and you don't have pimples, you're really lucky because even when I had bangs, I used to get pimples on my forehead really bad. If you notice that you get oily in certain places, it could be from your hair or just your skin in general, or you have combination skin like me. Number eight, do not forget to moisturize your skin. Dry and cracked skin is not fun. When you smile, you probably feel your face drying and cracking. That's not good. Even if you have oily skin and you feel like moisturizer is going to make it worse, there are oil-free moisturizers that you can use that will work for you. Like personally, I use oil-free moisturizers and oil-free makeup removers and stuff like that. Number nine, always take off your makeup before bed. Seriously, that is just a no-no. If you still do that, girl, I'm sorry. But I'm telling you right now, if you stop doing that, your face will show results, okay? Your skin will show results. Please take off your makeup. And don't forget to take off makeup that you put on your neck. Just make sure you're taking off that makeup, girl. Like, do not leave that on your face. That's no good because it's just seeping in your pores and then coming back out with a fat pimple so you don't want that unless you like pimples and you just want to have pimples in your face good for you is not what i'm into and number 10 face masks <laughs> treating yourself to a face mask at least once a week is so important it's okay to treat yourself sometimes now you've probably seen these before in other videos these are sephora collections masks that have been out for a long time oh 
that fell. Those masks have been out for a long time and they're really good. I use them all the time. I'm always running out of Sephora collection face masks, but they recently came out with the new ones. These are the super masks that Sephora collection recently came out with and I love them so much. We've got the mud mask, the bubble mask, the charcoal mask, and the primer mask. So the primer mask is made for using before you do your makeup. It hydrates, illuminates, and moisturizes and blurs out and evens out your skin. It's really, really great. And if you're into makeup and you like to do face masks and do your whole skincare thing before you do your makeup, I totally advise you to try this one out. Also, I really want you guys to try these out and do the holy sheet challenge because I want to see what you guys do. Yeah, and they come with cute packaging. All these masks run from $3 to $8, so that's really affordable for a face mask. The next mask is Sephora Collection's Charcoal Mask. It purifies, minimizes your pores, and smooths out your skin. If you're already aware of like what charcoal masks can do for you, I totally recommend this one for you. This mask is a 15 minute process. It's really quick, it's a sheet mask, so you don't have to do all that crazy applying and you know. And by the way, this one is only a three minute mask. Super quick and super easy with amazing results. And for the mud mask, this one is only a 15 minute process as well, and it mattifies and balances out your skin and remineralizes your skin. Cool stuff. Basically, for this, basically, if you're trying to go for like the matte effect without dryness, this is what you want to use. And this one is probably my favorite the bubble mask. This is Sephora Collection's bubble mask and it gives you that detoxifying effect and it foams up. So I'm really into that kind of stuff. It's so fun. Um, this one is a 15 minute mask too. These are really quick and easy masks, especially since it's back to school season and you wanna prep your face. You can even use these throughout the school year and just take care of your skin. And don't forget to check the description to check out all of these masks if you're interested. I can't wait to see you guys' holy sheet mask pictures. I can't wait to like them and check it out, so yeah. Those are just the special masks. They also have regular masks like eye masks and regular face masks. But yeah, I've used I think almost all of these already and I love them. Totally recommend trying out as many as possible. They're already cheaply priced and who doesn't love a good face mask? So definitely try them out. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching this video and thank you Sephora Collection for sponsoring. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some tips that you didn't know already. I really hope this helped you. Have an amazing school year. I love you guys, bye.